Welcome back to Morning Joy, where truth matters. I'm Keith Downey, your host, and our awesome guest today is at the forefront of a unique venture that combines our Catholic faith, relationships, and modern technology. Joining us is Taylor O'Brien, co-founder and CEO of CandidDating.net. Good morning and welcome to the show, Taylor. Good morning. Thank you for having me. Yeah, thanks so much for joining us. Now, it's really no surprise how difficult it is in the dating scene today, especially for Catholics. I'm probably more now than ever. I mean, even in yeah. the secular world, I think it's like eight and 10 admit that they have dating app burnouts. Mm. But you and uh, your, your co-founder, Mariana, created something different. So tell us a little about it and what the inspiration was behind building something like Candid Dating. Yeah, thank you. Um, what you said is so true, but it started back kind of coming out of the pandemic. I had just a deep desire to go make Catholic friends. So I started an Instagram page and hosted meetups here in the DFW and online for Catholic women. And the topic that was always coming up was why is it so hard to date? Like, where are you finding these single men? And um, it just, it, it became the topic of a conversation. And as my page grew and men started finding my page and finding out about these meetups I was having, they were like, hey, can you introduce me to your single friends? And so I had a unique perspective that I was able to see both the men and women were looking for each other. They were, existed. We were, in fact, all there. Um, but we seemed to just be missing each other. So in efforts to prove to myself, all of us, the rest of the young adult Catholic community that we can have, you know, young, fun, normal, single events, dates, I hosted an online speed dating event and it went really well. It was a lot of fun. We had a great response and we hosted that event three times. I was, I just took a Google form and um, received submissions from singles and I was like matching people at my parents' kitchen table. Uh, so not, not quite uh, scalable to do long-term, but when we got positive feedback, we decided to build it, build it for real. So that is what is now candid dating. That's so cool. So this isn't like your typical swipe left, swipe right no. kind of thing. No, thank you for pointing that out. But it is um, not. So we have no swiping and no pro profiles on Candid. You sign up for an event and you're able to meet five to seven single Catholics for five to seven minutes at a time. And you speak just like you and I are doing right now. So you're able to see each other. Um, there's no pre-screening. You're not able to go and, you know, like search their family or like what they do for a living. You just have to trust that um, based on your onboarding questions that you answer when you create your account, uh, we will serve you events with other singles who could be compatible for you. So you sign up for an event. And then, like I said, you meet five to seven singles for five to seven minutes at a time. Mm -hmm. And then after each date, if you will, um, you're able to answer the question, would you like to continue the conversation? And if both parties answer yes, you are able to chat after the event via Candid and share as little or as much information as you would like. Got it. So it kind of bridges the gap between technology and I guess you would call it traditional, like meeting somebody in like at a grocery store, like right. you have like a brief conversation. You don't know everything about this person before you start talking to them. Yeah. Um, that's so cool. How, how, so how does candid dating incorporate Catholic values and tradition into its approach? Yeah. So, I mean, first and foremost, you're meeting other Catholics that have the intention of meeting other Catholic singles at the forefront, right? Like you come to Canada if you want to meet young Catholic singles. But then at the same time, um, with the no swiping and no profiles, we feel that with that model, we're trying to kind of bring back really seeing the person across from you or the person on the other side of the phone for who they are. They are a person and praise God for people who have met on swiping apps, right? Like anybody who can meet and have a successful relationship, a holy relationship, however you meet, praise God. However, uh, we believe that the swiping culture has fostered this um, instant gratification culture that we find ourselves in, and it has especially run rampant in dating. And so on Candid, uh, we really want to bring back intentionality and seeing mm -hmm. the person that you're potentially dating or the person that you're speaking to, even, even if it's not going to be a match, but seeing them for the person that they are, that they have worth and dignity and gifts to share and you have gifts to share with them as well, whether or not that ends in a relationship. Um, but really just rethinking the way that we see people in uh, the dating scene. Mm. 
Oh, that's great. You're listening to Morning Joy, where truth matters. I'm Keith Downey, your host, and we're talking to, uh, with Taylor O'Brien, co-founder and CEO of Candid Dating, a new Catholic dating service meant to create meaningful connections without having to swipe left or right. Uh, and it's, it's interesting because there was a Catholic news agency article about Candid Dating. Um, we have that in the show notes in case you want to read more about it. Uh, highly recommend it. Um, but um, Taylor, what, what challenges have you faced in aligning modern dating practices with traditional Catholic teachings, if at all? Um, yeah, I mean, just like anything, right? Like we're young Catholic singles. Uh, we do live in a modern world. So like I mentioned, that instant gratification is kind of second nature now. And so I, I think that, um, like I said, with the intentional model that we're using at Candid, we're able to remind everyone, you know, when they're signing up for events and when they're getting our emails, like our faith comes first and your faith should inform everything that you do. And so keeping that at the forefront of who we're meeting and how we're meeting them. Mm. Yeah, that's important. Do you have any uh, success stories yet from candidating? We do. That's been really kind of wild and exciting, but we actually got a message as early as a few days ago. Um, oh or as recent as a few days ago, um, with another couple that's formed. So lots of success stories and even people who haven't, um, let us know that they've met, a you know, boyfriend, girlfriend, potential spouse, um, the positive feedback that we're getting from those people as well, that like, Hey, candid gave me an opportunity to get back out there. It, um, gave me a situation where I could step in and, you know, maybe work on talking to men or women, or maybe I just got out of a relationship and I'm reemerging in the dating scene. This was a really low pressure way to start to meet people again, that, um, I had the comfort or the user had the comfort of knowing that it was a safe place that, um, these people they were meeting shared their beliefs and values. And that's really rewarding too, to know that even the people who aren't necessarily getting a match, maybe on the first event, or they have a match, but maybe it didn't enter in a relationship yet. They're still finding value in what we're bringing them with Candid. Got it. Any, uh, any exciting upcoming features or developments on Candid Dating coming soon? Yes, we actually have a feature that we're playing with right now. Um, it's a 48 hour rule. So a lot of the feedback that we got um, when building Candid, and like I said, I kind of built it with all of these people who used it before we made it what it is. So I was able to be to get feedback from them along the way. But with the swiping apps, you know, you can message for weeks and weeks and maybe it never goes off app or right. um, you make a match and then you don't hear from them for a month or so. And then, you know, maybe we get bored or we're looking for some attention and we hop back on the app and start messaging again. Uh, we have a feature on Candid that um, is a 48 hour rule. So after 48 hours, when you are matched, you uh, have 48 hours to reach out to your match. And if mm -hmm you don't utilize those 48 hours, then your match disappears. So really, again, just trying to foster that intentionality behind it, that this is a person they, um, you know, do have a life and um, want to move forward if, you know, if that's something that you're looking for. And if not, then we're not going to waste each other's time. We're going to be direct and learn how to be intentional again. It eliminates the awkwardness too, I'm sure, yeah. of like people trying to like overly message. It's like, okay, get, get the hints, please. Yes. Uh, <laughs> Exactly. Yeah. So you're, you're a Catholic entrepreneur. Um, I'm sure there's listeners out there who are also Catholic and entrepreneurs, maybe young and old. What advice do you have for others looking to combine, combine their, their mm -hmm. faith with these innovative ventures? I love that question. Um, the entrepreneur life is a new one for me. Uh, my background is in football operations. So I, um, this is a unique situation I have found myself in, to be honest. And I would tell anyone out there, if you feel a nudge or a pull from the Holy Spirit, you better answer <laughs> because <laughs> you may not feel like you have the tools or um, the gifts to do something that your heart is kind of tugging on you to do, but the Lord will have those for you waiting. And that's what we found or I found specifically. He's mm -hmm. been at every turn and um, we continue to say yes. And he continues to pull things out of thin air that I have no idea where, where they're coming from. But um, to see the fruits of what we're doing and to see, like I mentioned, those couples that are forming, never would have thought that this would be my path. 
Um, however, I'm very excited and definitely um, taking ownership of that. But if, if there's anyone out there who has, you know, is finding themselves in a unique situation or is entrepreneur entrepreneurial by heart or mission, then go for it. Um, the Lord will guide your steps and, and give you the tools that you need. That's wise words. It's always, you know, trust in God and, and his plan for us. Absolutely. I mean, it's, it's going to be less friction. I think, I think that's a, it's a great way of putting it. Just follow, just say yes and, and yeah. let him take care of the rest. He will. <laughs> He always does. <laughs> That's right. Amen. Well, wow. Thank you so much, Taylor, for joining us this morning. Now we can find more information about candidating. Of course, we have the link in the show notes. If you're streaming from any of the uh, socials there, we have that available for you. The Catholic News Agency article. Great article. I recommend checking it out. Uh, we can also find more about this dating service by going to candiddating.net. And that's where you'll also find all of the social media accounts as well. It's kind of like that gateway there. So you'll be able to find them and make sure to follow them as well. Hey, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and subscribe for more truth and joy. God bless and make it a joyful day.